WTVQ. And good morning, Orange County, Northern New Jersey. All points east, west, north, and south because we are streamed worldwide. I am very happy to have on the phone with me, and I'm not going to pronounce Aaron's last name because I never get anybody's last name right. So I'm just going to tell you Aaron is involved with Cops Direct, which I'm going to let him explain about. So good morning, Aaron. Good morning. How are you? The the last name is pronounced Nearbon, by the way. Nearbon. I would have never in a billion years gotten that one. (laughs) Nobody does. So It's okay. Thanks for having me on this morning. Oh, it's our pleasure. So tell everybody about this uh, program. It sounds very interesting. Well, Cops Direct is the only nonprofit of its type. And what we do is we get law enforcement agencies around the nation any critically needed items that they can't access through their own supply lines in their local government. And that may be because of bureaucracies or uh, budgetary issues or whatever. But when a department needs first responder medical supplies or canine equipment or perhaps even SWAT team equipment or body cameras, they can come to Cops Direct and at no charge to them receive the equipment that they need to do their job safely and to protect their citizenship or citizenry, I should say, uh, to the highest level possible. That's pretty amazing. Now, where did you come up with this concept? Well, Cops Direct stems from the other nonprofit that we have called Troops Direct. I founded Troops Direct in 2010, and what Troops Direct does is the exact same thing, but for our troops overseas. I found out that a lot of the items that I, as a civilian, thought our troops had, critical stuff, you know, first aid supplies or, you know, boots or whatever it might be, were in short supply. How could that and be? And so we found a Troops Direct, and again, seven years ago, and have shipped over three million pounds of requested items, the things that the troops tell us they need, not the stuff that we How come we're not supplying what our troops need? If we have enough money to give them guns, I would think we'd have enough money to give them food and supplies. And and that's the exact reason that I founded Troops Direct and subsequently Cops Direct is one of my best friends was in Afghanistan as a Marine Corps company commander. So he was in charge of 150 in-the-dirt frontline Marines. And he contacted me because his medics, or his corpsmen, if you will, needed stethoscopes and gauze. They needed, you know, shoelaces or boot laces. They needed replacement eye protection. They needed gun lubricant. All these things I thought our troops had, they in fact didn't. And now, you know, we deal with literally special operations units all the way across to your you know, guardsmen and your Marine Corps and your Army alike. But now, but, was, but who can we go to in our government to say, hold it here? Why do we have private organizations having to supply our police officers and our um, our military with supplies they should get automatically? Where is all that money going that they're not getting what they need? Well, I, I, I agree with your, with your sentiment and your idea 100%. And in fact, Troops Direct has been back on Capitol Hill, uh, even in recent time, meeting with congressmen to address the issue. However, I think that we can all, you know, you know, come to the realization that it's going to be the service members in the dirt that are going to be the last to see the benefits from any budget cut or bu- budget increases that our nation will experience. Um, but with the the birth of Cops Direct came because. We use a lot of the same suppliers now for cops that we currently use for the military. And in talking to my suppliers, I was shocked. I I am talking shocked to learn that departments were having to do car washes and bake sales and community barbecues. Oh, that's crazy. To raise money for things like, let's just take first responder trauma equipment. the, The first aid that a police officer would have on him in case he were injured, or a fellow officer, or a citizen at a car wreck, or God forbid, at a mass shooting, would need to help out those individuals waiting for fire departments and EMS to arrive. There are departments that are literally having to say, we can't afford it right now, we will 
buy it from you when, when they can, they're telling the, the distributors. And then they're going out literally and doing community car washes to buy it. That's and that's crazy. where Cops Direct steps in. It's just unbelievable to me. I find this, you know, just incredible, incredulous to even think that we're not supplying people who are defending us and our freedom and our lives every day with simple items that they need. I, I, don't... I, I can tell you that just in New York State alone, we have helped multiple departments with search and rescue helmets. A lot of this is on our website, also at copsdirect.org. But we have done, uh, for multiple departments, first responder trauma kits, search and rescue helmets, amongst other things. And I think that we need to stop for a second and look at some of the hard numbers that you know we're hearing about in the news. In 2016, over 140 police officers were killed in the line of duty. Unbelievable. So far in 2017, 50, as I speak right now, 50 have been killed in the line of duty. We are at a five-year high. Wow. Last year in New York State alone, and I can't talk about Orange County necessarily or anything like that, but in New York alone, five police officers were killed last year. However, now listen to this one. This year alone, in 2017, we're not even halfway through the year, five police officers in New York have already been killed. At that rate, New York will see a, a doubling. Why is that happening then? You're, you're, are you saying that it's because of their lack of equipment? I am saying that the law enforcement agencies out there stateside are under-equipped to deal with this new age of criminal that is on the street. So what do we have there to do to bring this up? To, I mean, listen, thank God you're there and your groups are there to help. But okay. what can the citizens do to help these changes be made in Congress and the Senate? Well, it is very worthwhile for the local citizen to go to their local government and say, we need to make these changes. What does our police department need? But at the same time, with all respect to our government who I, I cherish and value. I love every part of this nation, but we can all agree that government runs slowly. And when the lives and the safety of our police officers are in the balance while they wait for budgets to be approved because of public outreach, Cops Direct is stepping in and getting the equipment that these law enforcement officers need. Just it's in just the last phenomenal. 30 days, we have shipped over 1,300 first responder trauma kits out. We have shipped, I can't tell you how many search and rescue kits. I cannot tell you how many orders we are getting now for body cameras and for canine equipment. Now, what is canine? What is police officers need this to do their jobs. And there are, there are husbands and wives and sons and daughters waiting at home for their parents or their spouses to get back from that shift every day. And darn it, at Cops Direct, we are making sure yeah. that we do everything we can to ensure that for their family and also for the communities that they serve. I can tell you, as a, uh, as a child of a police officer, I know what that means to wait. And so if people out there don't know, just think about your father being on a job that you don't know if he was coming home every day. And You're what exactly the, right. Yeah, what that means to you as a family. You know, and what, I know families personally. Uh, growing up and even now with, with Cops Direct that I have met where moms and dads, and especially dads, did not come home from work. Yeah. We take for granted that we're going to see our dads. Absolutely. When and they walk out the door with their lunch pail. Now, how can people get involved with Cops Direct and also with Troops Direct? Both Cops Direct and Troops Direct are 501c3 nonprofit organizations. Our, now, I, I want to pause and say this. Our financials at Troops Direct are stellar. Less than 4% of our budget goes to administrative That expenses. is unheard of. That, and, and all of those financials are found on our website. We are proud and very open about our numbers. That's pretty amazing. There's not we many are nonprofits. Better Business Bureau approved and everything else with Troops Direct. Cops Direct is a newer organization. So we don't have our own set of financials yet for Cops Direct, but I will tell you 
that everything falls right in line with troops direct because we share a lot of you know internal efficiencies so that means that when somebody donates to cops direct a tax deductible donation it enables us to take that money immediately and go out there and give a police department the equipment they need to do their job we don't know god forbid we don't know when the next sandy hook shooting is going to be we don't know when the next san bernardino shooting is going to be or dallas or when the next riot like we saw in ferguson may you know, present itself to us it will happen let's not kid ourselves these things will happen and the first people to respond will be our moms and dads our husbands and wives in their patrol cars to defend those people and cops direct is ensuring that, that happens and we do that because of the public's financial support whether it's one dollar or a million dollars now, how many people are helping you with this nonprofit? The great thing about Cops Direct is that everything that we do as it pertains to orders is shipped directly from our suppliers. So we don't need to employ a whole bunch of people to run a, so a they, big warehouse like you might see at a, at a, at a Costco. So or they drop ship everything. You just send them. Do they give you a good discount because they know what you're working with? Let's let's take the trauma kits as an example. Okay. And these trauma kits include gauze. They include tourniquets. They include uh, uh, gloves. They include CPR masks and a myriad of other things. We deal with a company called Tactical Med- Medical Solutions down in South Carolina, ran by a former Green Beret. And we contact them and say, let's just go right to it, Erie County Sheriff's Office needs 150 of these, ship them today. They ship them directly on our behalf there. Uh, In New Jersey, Middleton Police needed 90 of them out the door that same day. I mean, those are just two examples. That's pretty amazing. So to answer your question, we don't need a big staff here. And and staff is fat. Yeah, do you have a lot of volunteers helping? We We have a wonderful volunteer staff when we need them. Uh, And we do have a couple people that do work here, but we don't have big, huge, fancy offices with neon signs and all that. Yeah, you don't need that. Like a lot of these other wasteful charities. Yeah, no, I love what you're doing. I think it's phenomenal. Uh, What would do? What would be entailed in ordering for the canine supplies? What any police department can do, if this is what you're asking, is there is an agency request form at the top of copsdirect.org where a police department can go in and submit their request to us. And we get a lot of requests, so we, we, we sort them and vet them the best that we can. But any department that does have a genuine need, they can go and request there. Now, if a donor says, I want my donation whenever possible to go to supporting uh, a canine, well, they can do that as part of their donation at copsdirect.org. All right, we're going to take a little bit of a break right now. When we come back, I want to ask you more about some of the supplies that are involved and how people can reach out and and give you help. We'll be right back with Aaron. Beautiful People, the Miracle League of Orange County, where children and young adults with disabilities are playing soccer, baseball, and basketball. Beautiful People is a place where children and adults with special needs can exercise and socialize in a non-competitive atmosphere and enjoy the benefits of team sports, just like mainstream America. Beautiful People is building a fully accessible ballpark in Warwick, and you can help by calling 845-986-5944, and your donations are tax deductible. To make a difference and be part of something special, call 845-986-5944 or visit us at beautiful-people.us. Hudson Valley Honor Flight is a 501c3 nonprofit organization which honors American veterans for the sacrifices they made for our freedom and country. HV Honor Flight transports our heroes to Washington, D.C., so they can visit the memorials without any cost to the brave men and women who have served faithfully. 
Hudson Valley Honor Flight flies multiple times a year and top priority is given to the greatest generation, World War II veterans, as well as to terminally ill veterans from other wars. Additionally, HV Honor Flight has future plans to take veterans from all wars on flights as well. We lose over 550 World War II veterans every day. Now we need to express our thanks to those brave men and women before their time runs out. As Will Rogers said, we can't all be heroes. Some of us have to stand on the curb and clap as they go by. To donate or get involved, visit their website at hvhonorflight.com. Hi, this is Maria Stasola from the Old Warwick Bookshop in Greenwood Lake. Here with my co-host, Kevin Sweeney from the Windermere Agency. We would love it if you would join us every Friday morning at 11 a.m. for Greenwood Lake Radio. On WTBQ. WTBQ. Hi there, it's Taylor back on the Tailored Word. And uh, it's very interesting, a very unique nonprofit because we work with a lot of nonprofits here, as everyone knows. But this one I, is really unusual and so needed. And s- I'm sorry it's so needed, it shouldn't be. But it is. And I have Aaron Nebron, is that correct? Nearbon. Nearbon. I was close. <laughs> no cigar. But uh, he heads up copsdirect.org and troopsdirect.org. And for those of you just tuning in, give them a, a quick, uh, a quick, a brief little overview of both of them again. Well, well, Cops Direct and Troops Direct are the only nonprofits of their type. Cops Direct gets law enforcement agencies here in the United States any critically needed equipment that they can't get or acquire because of budgetary issues or bureaucratic issues inside of their jurisdiction. Now, Troops Direct does the exact same thing. Both are 501c3 not-for-profit organizations. And Troops Direct goes and gets American forces around the globe any critically needed items that they can't get through their supply chain. Uh, you know, again, budgetary, red tape, logistical issues are often factors there. And on the military side, I mean, just this week, we are shipping uniforms to the Middle East. We are shipping... They don't helmets. have uniforms? Uh, you would be surprised... I'm shocked, how, not surprised. How, how tattered and worn Unbelievable. uniforms can get in bad environments you and know the what? military's inability to resupply them. That's just we, disgraceful. There are service members who are literally wrapping their boots in duct tape oh my waiting gosh. for another pair to arrive. This I, is I insane. No, this is insane. I mean, what is wrong with this country? I mean, I don't understand that. How could you do this to these these young men and women who are out there sacrificing their life for our freedom? We can't afford to get them boots? This is in uh, I, I can't well, imagine. I, imagine it's your son or daughter. No, I can't. That, I, I that, can that, imagine that, it's anybody. Well, yeah, but that, that needs a stretcher. Oh, and my gosh. And the stretchers that are used out on the front lines are not available. Oh. I mean, I will tell you that in Afghanistan right now, and I know we're supposed to be talking about cops direct this morning, but in Afghanistan, there are helicopter medevac units. These are the medics that fly in on helicopters and get the wounded and bring them back to base so they can be treated. There are units out there that are being required to jump off the helicopter into enemy fire, for which there is enemy fire in Afghanistan. Let's not kid ourselves. Absolutely. And the helmets that they have are not able to protect them against any gunfire that might go towards their head, like an infantryman's helmet would have. The communications equipment out there is failing. And because of contracts or bad logistics right now, they can't get communications gear that works. Um, I mean, you name it, Troops Direct is is shipping it. And again, as I mentioned in the last segment, we've shipped over 3 million pounds of requested support to units literally on every continent, Afghanistan, Asia, even in Eastern Europe where we're facing the the threats of of communism, South America where we're fighting drug wars. Troops Direct is getting our Americans what they need. I mean, it is. I I don't even have words for this because to even know that this is happening is such a disgrace on this country to allow the people that not only support us but uh, save us and keep our freedom and and our peace. That's why we do what we do at Troops Direct and Cops Direct because our Americans deserve everything that we can supply to them when they serve this nation. And I'll tell you, I'm I'm doing this interview from my office here. 
uh, on the West Coast, and I am looking at a wall that we have in our office, and we have acknowledgments from Navy SEAL teams. We have acknowledgments from Green Beret units, Department of the Navy, United States, Marine Corps, Marine Corps, Marine Corps, uh, House of Representatives, uh, the Congress we have acknowledgments from because of what we do at Troops Direct for our troops. Well, they should be helping you, not sending you letters. The Congress and Senate needs to step up here. We appreciate the letters, but how about funding? That would we be have helpful. Some, we have some very vocal advocates Good. on Capitol Hill, and we're thankful to have them. Thank goodness. But it was from Troops Direct that is busier than it's ever been now that we realized that our law enforcement agencies here in the United States were suffering from budget cuts as well and issues with getting the needed equipment so that they could do their job and serve their communities while also keeping themselves safe. It's just there amazing. Are, there are departments that can't afford body cameras Ugh. that they need to both protect themselves. We live in a very litigious society now. Everybody wants to sue everybody. I know. Everybody wants to you know, make false claims against somebody else. Uh, and we body we see that all the time. Yeah, the be- police, but they're also protecting the citizens. Absolutely, now. because then you and see firsthand what's really going on. Yeah, it, they go both ways. Whether you love cops or you hate cops, well, body cameras help everybody. And there are departments that cannot afford body cameras. It's amazing to me. There so, are... I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say, you know, we're going to continue, but I want you to tell everybody uh, the name of the website so that they can be helpful in some way, whether it be through donations or if they are involved maybe with a company that produces some of these items, however they can figure. I would, I would ask that all of your listeners just take a moment today. If not for Cops Direct, do it for the, for the policemen that serve your community. Go to Cops Direct and make a donation. Make, make a $1 donation. Forego your morning cup of coffee tomorrow, please, and make a $1 donation if that's all you want to give. Yeah, every dollar counts. Every dollar counts. If everyone in the country gave $1, we'd be able to supply everybody with everything. I will tell you, the search and rescue helmets that we get, which are the highest quality, they're made in Cleveland by a, a company called Team Wendy, one of the best helmet manufacturers in the nation. Those search and rescue helmets that in this case Syracuse Police Department that we supplied them to uses to help citizens trapped in precarious situations cost us about $400 each. The ballistic ones, the ones that a SWAT team might require to protect themselves if they go in and serve a warrant against a bad guy, cost in excess of 1000 Why are they the so... The medical ex- kits that we supply can range from as little as $35 all the way up to some larger ones that can cost over 1000 And Why are they so expensive? Well, medical items are, are high grade, and uh, you don't want a bunch of ratty equipment there. No, I understand that. But medical I'm kits thinking, are not like what you would find it at Walmart. Yeah, but I'm thinking on the level of wholesale. I'm thinking that maybe, you know, what is the, what is the markup on the end over there that they're so expensive? I mean, well, we're fortunate that our suppliers, because they believe in what Cops Direct does, gives us phenomenal discounts. And when okay. they can just donate across the board, they do. Oh, that's wonderful. A lot wonderful. of these companies that we purchase medical and safety items from for the troops over the past seven years are the same people that manufacture for police departments. It's just that it's not Army Green. It's police blue right and so as i mentioned the last segment they these suppliers have been crucial in helping us identify at cops direct departments that are in need departments that say yes we need those 150 first responder kits that can save the lives of the citizens that we interact with but we just don't have the money now let us go do a, a community bake sale or a community car wash you know, to get, raise five thousand dollars. I'm not exaggerating on, on on examples like that. Yeah, and and also getting your kids involved. How how about letting the kids do fundraisers or Boy Scout groups or Girl Scout groups, getting them to understand what it's like. We have I don't know. Do you know what Honor Flight is? 
I absolutely know it all. Okay, so I d- organization. yeah, I work with them here in Orange County, and I go obviously to Honor Flight. And when you see the kids that are writing letters to all these uh, veterans from World War II to Korean to Vietnam for their flight back, it is you know would bring tears to your eyes. So yeah. get the kids involved. Let them do a I'll, sale. And I'll say this: I don't I don't want to politicize things above and beyond the level at which they've been politicized already in the media. Right. But the first thing I believe that our children need to do is learn to respect and appreciate what our police officers do every day. The police officer is being vilified in the media, and unfortunately our children are learning about society and what is right and wrong more often than not nowadays by what we see in the media and on video games and on music videos and the like. That's the first thing our children need to do is respect those people that could someday potentially save their lives. Yeah, I mean, that's what people, they always, you know, I always hear this remark, where's the policeman when you need him? Well, they're always there. It's just that you don't always see them. And uh, they're always putting their life on the line every single day. The minute You're they, absolutely right. The minute, and like you say, because they put their lives on the line, they deserve to have the equipment they need to keep themselves safe and also to effectively serve their communities. And so that's why we ask that people go to copsdirect.org, make a donation, big or small, knowing that, as you will see on our finance, literally less than 4% of our budget goes to overhead expenses, and that is reflected on Troops Direct and is now going to be reflected on the Cops Direct side. Yeah, it's going to be unbelievable. We have about a minute left, so I would like you again to remind everybody where they can go to be of help, how they can donate, how they can find out more information. CopsDirect.org is the best place to go. You can pick up your mobile phone right now or your computer at home and check us out. Additionally, we are on Facebook, facebook.com slash cops direct and cops direct is one word and again the the reason that we are so unique is because we will supply we have the ability to supply whatever they need we don't just specialize in bulletproof vests or just specialize in tourniquets we have the ability to entertain any possible request that comes to us and that's why we are so effective on the troops direct side and now on the cops direct side. Well, and I, again, there were over 50,000 police assaults last year. Over 140 police officers were killed in the line of duty last year. And our goal here is to take it to zero assaults I'm and with zero you. dead. If we can I, well, like Aaron, I can't thank you enough for everything that you're doing. What a brilliant way to give back and have everybody involved. Um, I really want to have you on again and talk about, you know, where you're going with this. And maybe there'll be a, uh, a nice round of cheer of everyone well, uh, pitching I, in. And I'd like to pa- I know we're coming to the top of the hour. Yes. But I am seeing that we have gotten multiple, multiple donations from the tri-state area just in the last 15 minutes or so. Oh, that's and wonderful. That I attribute to this interview. And so I want to say thank you My pleasure. to those listeners that have been extraordinarily generous as I'm seeing the little notifications here. Oh, wonderful. Uh, for their support of what we do. I'm so, so glad. thank you to you and thank you to your listenership. I'm very that. happy to hear that. We have uh, some wonderful citizens very involved, and I'm definitely going to have Aaron on again, and we're going to talk more about this and have more information. Aaron, thank you so much for doing this. It's such a great way to give back.